people just in general, they love putting people on pedestals and then ripping it down. Ooh. People love doing that. And so... Well, I mean, it's not the same people, like, ripping down the people they put on pedestals. Oh, people do that all the time, for sure. To this, I don't... If, Take any celebrity. Okay. Forget even the Muslim. We're just talking about your general, everyday, non-Muslim celebrity. Yeah. How the people who love that person yeah. five years ago or six years ago, how quickly they'll turn on that individual. Okay. Right? Yeah. They, they just love... We, we love building people up and we love tearing them down you take anybody no matter how loved they are they're not really loved people will they're people admired. will turn on I don't, I don't even know if it's I, I, I mean, temporarily they're, they're admired with a i guess a false perception they've built right it may it may not be real i mean they didn't like they do something very specific maybe in terms of their work or the, their position in society but there, there, I guess that there, there's a residual image that people kind of build about that individual and put them in a in a different spot in perception. And then it's so fickle. It's as soon as as soon as something happens, people will turn on that individual, whether or not it's granted or not. But yeah. it's just the notion of you know people people taking. So so when Allah says, "Why did they not think well of themselves?" Mm -hmm. Really powerful. I mean, Is this in the same sort of? Hmm? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We're going to need you for you. We're going to need you to give an adjective other than really powerful because you said really powerful <laughs> seven times. Already. I did, huh? Yeah, yeah. I love that. I mean, Al Maghrib Institute presents Q and A with Kamal Al Makki. Lola is That why it's saying this is how you should have responded or reacted. You should have when you heard this news. Uh, which one are we? Done? I'm, I'm thinking of Donal Mu'min. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So the believers should have thought well of and then be anfusi him. And it's so amazing here that the word for each other is the same word for themselves. Isn't that am uh, amazing? Powerful. Not powerful. Very powerful. Amazing, right? <laughs> so the word for you should have thought well of one another is the same word as you should have thought well of yourselves. Okay. Be anfusi him, but it means of, of each other. And dhan is internal. So it's covering both. So they sh you should have thought well of each other. وَقَالُوا هَذَا إِفْكُمْ مُبِينَ And you should have said. So it's so powerful that it covers, again, powerful, that it covers both. That what you should have felt internally, <laughs> exactly. And what you're going to say. And that, and that, and I already gave that example. But also it shows when you have a pure heart, you don't play these dirty games, you know. And that's why Aisha, when she mentions how Zainab bin Tujahsh anha, when she was asked what what do you know she she didn't leave the door open at all and if someone tells me what do you think everyone's saying Imam so and so did this what do you know now I know I know Sharia ah, and I know that legally I don't have any evidence so my job Islamically is to defend him but I also hate Imam so and so <laughs> so I'm going to leave it a little bit open so this is my response Subhanallah, Imam so and so, Allah, we have not known anything about him except taqwa and righteousness, and he's there in every salah, and we have never seen him do anything nasty. So I don't know anything bad about the man. Subhanallah, everyone is saying they did it. They're even saying they have audio, but I've never seen anything bad. See that ending? Yeah. I just yeah, left yeah. it open there. Like, but but Zainab and Tujah said, I, uh, and she's, I refrain from saying that I've seen or heard anything, and I don't know anything except good about Aisha. And that was it. And the, Aisha was her like rival exactly. amongst the wives of the Prophet. So that was, was the, that was the like you know the she, challenge. Yeah, right there. she said she was the one that matched me in beauty and her love of the Prophet. So this was a chance to get a leg up, but no, she said her taqwa protected her. And subhanAllah, her sister starts, you know, taking sides and she got punished for it. But what I tell people, I always tell people like like practical application. Don't do dirty things to people. Allah knows what's in your heart. So let's say a woman. You know, her husband took another uh, wife. I mean, that. come on, that's worse than divorce, right? <laughs> I guess for some women. So you hate that woman. This is how you come and console her. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that your husband got a second wife. Wife, wife. Why did you? Why is there a reverb? Or, yeah, because <laughs> not the power, man. Or, or <laughs> someone gets fired and you hate him. Like, oh, I'm so sorry I heard the news that you got fired. Fired, fired. <laughs> Well, you you use the word that you know he hate. You know what? Let oh. me tell you something. Let me I was tell you. like, why is he repeating? Because that? you yeah, you're using the word that they hate the most. Or I'm sorry, I heard you got divorced. Or, or. <laughs> <laughs> you more examples? So look, 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 listen, uh, listen. Let, listen to this, man. Uh -huh. This is strong. 
when Nabi Sallallahu came to Aisha. First of all, he just gave a khutbah talking about how she's innocent and Safwan ibn Mu'attal is innocent. So no one can say, oh, look, the Prophet asked her because he wasn't sure. He just gave a khutbah saying she's innocent and he's known nothing but good about her. Mm. So his job is, as a judge, and he was the judge, even though he didn't have an actual courtroom, but his job is to, to the judge's job is to ask. So he's still, even though as a husband, he's positive she didn't do anything, but as a judge, his job is still to come and inquire. And we said, or we cover in the course, the amount of, or we actually spoke about this yesterday, but the level of detail you have to ask, you know, something very explicit, right? Yeah. We agreed. But yet, he came, he said, Amma, after he, the introduction, he said, Amma ba'du ya Aisha, faqad balaghani anki kada wa kada. He said, to proceed, O Aisha, I have heard such and such about you. And he actually said such and such. Okay, not Even the though the judge, explicit. yes, okay. even though the judge is supposed to be explicit. But they said, this is from the refined manners of the Prophet ﷺ, that he never approached you with what you hate. It, that's why I said, if someone's divorced, I should have put it into context. If someone's divorced, the word they hate the most is divorced. So when you come to console them and you throw that word, it's like, I'm trying to hug you, but here's, I'm putting the knife in your back. <laughs> or when someone's fired, they yeah. don't want to hear the word fired from anyone. Yeah. You know, but you come and use that word and you make it look like you could. But the Prophet, ﷺ, even though he was at a judge, in the position of a judge, and he had to be explicit, he couldn't because his manners are. He knows Aisha, there's nothing in the world she would hate more than to hear this word from her husband. And so he avoided it. These are the prophetic manners. It's just beautiful. Amazing. I mean, it brings me back to the story about the uh, some companion brought a bunch of grapes and he waited to um, uh, for him to eat it. He said it was a gift. No, oh, said man. And he ate the grapes and he ate all of them. Right? And then the guy left. And then they asked the prophet, hey, how come we didn't share anything? He said, because they were sour and I was pretty. He <laughs> yelled, eat it and make faces and make him feel bad. So yeah. I figured I'll eat it, you know, looking pleased and not hurt his feelings. Nice. Yeah, that's what it's like, Akhi. Yeah. 